Wokna Lee University. My name's Conrad Lee. Welcome to Lane Troy University. My name is Conrad Lane. I'm going to share seven ways, seven ways of how to succeed and earn income on Turo. Stay tuned. Quick tip at first, number one, do your absolute best. And this kind of ties into two, but it's really one. And this is a combo deal. Do your best to get the car for the lowest price possible. I don't care if you're buying a car outright. I don't care if it's a leased car. Get the lowest payment you possibly can. I don't care if you're buying a car through car, traditional car financing. Make sure you do your absolute best to get the lowest price possible. When you get the lowest price possible, that's the way you can actually save a lot of money in the long run. Think of it this way. The more money you save in the beginning is more money you earn in the long run. When you spend too much or overspend on how much a car costs, it takes longer to have to pay off the car or pay off the loan. Very, very important to make sure you get the car at the lowest price possible. That way, the lower you get it, the higher the price. Think of it this way. When you actually get a car, so let's say you buy a car, for sake, sake of example, say it costs $10,000, but you get it for $5,000. Let's say, for sake of example, this is what happens. Say you end up earning $10,000 on that car. That means you earned the $5,000 you paid the car for. So you got your up, so you got your return, you got the return back, and you made a profit on top of that of $5,000, right? So you basically made a 100% profit over what you invested. Pretty cool. But say you get that same ten thousand dollar car, but you all, but you actually, at the, at this point, you, you got it for twenty thousand dollars, right? But say you only made ten thousand dollars, right? So instead of getting a car for ten thousand for five thousand dollars, you got it for twenty thousand dollars. So you overspent, so you overpaid for this loan and for the car or purchase the loan. Now you only made ten thousand. You just lost fifty percent. That's huge. You lost fifty percent profit. The other one you had one hundred percent profit. This one you lost fifty percent profit. That's the way, the crazy part about numbers, what you get the car at is the first way. So that's the first number one rule. The second rule you must follow is try to do your best to be as conservative as possible. When I say conservative, I have a Lane University membership. I'm not saying you should join it. I think it's great, but if you want to join it, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. But again, I have a lot of free literature, uh, articles, and also Reddit posts, etc. Instagram, Twitter, uh, I'm all over the place, especially YouTube. You have a lot of free content, so you don't have to join. You can just listen, and you'll learn for free. It's a free playlist of Lane Troy University. Follow the link below. But like I said before, the link below, Lane Troy University, absolutely free. But the point is, keeping your premiums as conservative as possible. So it doesn't matter if you buy the car outright, if you lease it, or if you actually finance to own the car, traditionally speaking, as a car loan. Do your best to earn, the, uh, earn whatever the monthly loan payment is within 10 days. This insulates you so that if your car gets in an accident, if it's going through maintenance, if it's stolen, if it's some type of weird claim, if something happens where it's just a slow month or slow uh, time frame, at least you earned your income within 10 days. A lot of tour hosts make the mistake of trying to use the whole 30 days or the whole or 20 days or 25 days to earn whatever the payment they're getting from their car. Bad mistake. This is what happens is this. Now, if your car gets in an accident, if it's a slow month, if something happens to your car, if it's going through maintenance, you can't afford to take a few days off if you get sick, whatever happens. So now you're actually a liability to yourself. So always very bad. To, in my opinion, I try to get my payments within seven to 10 days. And the way to make that easier for yourself as option one, uh, tip number one says, negotiate the best price you can. And remember, you always have the most power of negotiation in the beginning of a deal, not at the end. So before you pull the trigger, before you buy a car from a dealership or buy a car outright cash or finance the owner lease, get the lowest monthly payment you can get for a lease. And if it's a finance to own, try to uh, decrease the loan and bring that price down so you bring down the monthly payments. That way it makes it easier so you can earn whatever the amount is. So say, say I have a car payment of $700. My goal is to earn $70 per day, uh, so, so I'll rent the car for $70 or maybe $60 and try close to that so I can pay off the full loan or majority of it within those 10 days. 20 days over will be pure profit, uh, or if I want to take a break or if I uh, need to do maintenance, whatever the case is, at least it's already paid off within 10 days. Very important to do that. Try to find conservative number. Very, very important to do this. And I would say at max, maybe do... 19 days just under 20 days but if you're going where you need 20 days 25 days 30 days you're doing something wrong in my personal opinion but i'm super conservative that's just my opinion third if your car's not working out and say it's just standing there do your absolute best to start adding extras 
extras, yes, there's prepaid gas. There's uh, prepaid mileage. If you go over mileage, you're not gonna charge a guest. You say bought mileage from you for extra, or you bought gas. Those are boring in my opinion. Those are great, those are valuable, but you make it a lot more colorful. You create a honeymoon package where you sell sparkly water, for example. You sell made roses, for example. You add, you say honeymoon package for $100 per day. So some whoever's coming who just got married or honeymoon or wants to celebrate with their significant other, they can buy that from you. And then you can actually sell it for $100 per day. Very important to do that. What you can also do essentially is you can actually offer family package fun day, an umbrella, maybe a picnic basket, maybe a, a beach blanket, uh, maybe a basketball, uh, some fun items like that, some video games, etc. for the kids, things like that. Or hey, a business person's package, maybe someone, you know someone's traveling, give them a mobile hotspot of internet, you give them maybe a laptop, you rent it for $100 per day, you start earning money in creative fashions by creating these packages and the extras and people rent it for you for $100 per day. Very possible to do this, people don't think like this, this is what people get in my lane, uh, Lane University membership and in my Lane uh, University Power Host group, uh, I, I teach I teach this. So this that's another another tactic you guys can do. Tip number four: If your car's sitting there and it's not doing well, this might be a bit crazy for some people, but it can actually work. Just make sure it's cost effective to you. You can actually get your car painted. Maybe try a different color. Maybe do some research, reverse engineer, and then see a different tour host in your uh, post profile. I mean, in your host network in your area or territory and look for the same car, similar car, and see what colors do best. Maybe you have a black car, maybe you have a white car, maybe you have a gray car, you find out, hey, red's doing really well, or yellow's doing really well, then get it painted. And then try to do your best to save as much money on paint. You can try to go to a place like Mako, or even what I highly recommend, try to find a college that paints cars. Oftentimes, a lot of these places that hire uh, car painters go to school for college, they go to college, and they take paint classes, and they can paint it for free, typically, which is pretty cool, or they are at very greatly dis uh, discounted price. That's tip number four. Tip number five is kind of like what I talked about in tip number four, learn how to reverse engineer in general. Going back and researching and making sure you know the market. Find out what your competition is, who your competition is, who has similar cars to you, what other hosts are doing. Look at how they take their pictures, how they write their, what extras they're offering, what packages they're offering, how they're conveying their message in their tour, pro, pro, tour host profile, how they're actually getting guest reviews. Look at the cars, the quality, what they offer, etc. What color is the car? Does it have leather interior? Does it not have leather interior? Um, etc. That's very important to do. Research other tour hosts so you can start learning from them. Very important to do that. Highly recommend that. Learn how to reverse engineer. That should be one of the main key elements of this strategy is learning how other people perform in your market with your similar car or cars. So you can see how you do it. You take a few good notes uh, and dissect and cut off, cut away the ones that are doing bad. But if you see they're doing good, like they take good pictures, they get good reviews, you look at their daily rates. Now, instead of reinventing the wheel, you learn how to actually look at other people's host profiles and do it for yourself. Very simple to do this. Next, you know, really want to take notes on this one. This is an easy one to do because you're already probably doing it. If you're watching on YouTube, you already can do it. If you have a YouTube account, if you have a Twitter account, a so some type of social media account, I don't care if it's a Rumble account, I don't care if it's an Instagram account, if it's TikTok, whatever the case is, you have a social media account, instead of just streaming through uh, and scrolling past different reviews and different Instagram posts, create another uh, Instagram profile, another Twitter profile, another social media profile, but for your car. You have an Instagram uh, profile, right? Let your car business have a, its also own business uh, Instagram. Take pictures and videos of your car. This gives you another algorithm, a place on Google when you have Instagram or Twitter or sometimes social media outcome, you, uh, oh, sorry, outlet. Now you, you're not just only relying on Turo. Turo first is a marketing business. They actually are very good at marketing and getting you business. Second, they're a car sharing platform. It's not the other way around. They're not a car sharing platform first. They get leads first for us and then they're a car sharing platform. They, that's, we need leads to be able to even for all this to run. So they're really good at getting business for you. The problem is, if for whatever reason they decide not to give you any business, if for whatever reason you're just not doing well yourself, for whatever reason, if it's just a slow month, you wanna increase the likelihood. Nothing's 100%. Don't rely on put all your eggs into uh, Turo. Start learning how to create videos, take pictures, and create a conveying post so you can start attracting other people to your post, put your Turo post profile ID number there so when they click on it go right to your Toro host profile and now you found another way to find, get customers and bring them to the Toro platform and start earning more money for yourself very very important to do this if you don't do this this one this can definitely help you start earning six figures you start actually spread creating different leads and you start finding out when you start looking for your cars they start showing up in Instagram leads and Instagram posts or on Google pretty cool gotta do this really uh, really easy uh, step you can take right now and that's number six 
Number seven, last but not least, and you must do this, ask for reviews. Not in a rude manner. Don't say, hey, give me review. But once the trip's over, say, hey, I had a great experience with you. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate you. I hope you had a good experience. I'm definitely gonna give you a five star review. If you think you had a good experience, please feel free to give me a review as well. When they do that, now they can actually give you an actual review and they can actually give you a five star review and usually it stops them from forgetting. Sometimes they might have the good intention of giving you a review, they might just simply forget or they might not even know to do, especially if they're new or just like I said, they might just not care to do it. It doesn't hurt to remind them, say, hey, thank you so much for taking care of my car. You're an excellent experience. I hope you had a good experience with me. Don't you say yes, I had an amazing experience. But yeah, if you think so, maybe you could do a review for me. Those usually say yes, let me do it right now or let me get to it. Very important. That's the seven tips of success. Love you guys. Like, subscribe, share. Follow me on Instagram, Car at Lane, TikTok. Subscribe, smash the subscribe button if you found this a val uh, content valuable. Hope you did. I'm doing my best to help you. I'm just a regular dude trying to show the way. Carly, now.